Bum bum bum. That was good. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I can't. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Mackenzie Horst. Now, this is actually my first video since we got married. Um, I've been off of YouTube a little bit lately, but I am back. Hello, and welcome to a weekend in my life. Um, currently out on Saturday, running errands, getting all the Christmas stuff. It is 60 degrees right now in Nashville, um, and it feels great. Actually, a little warm with this sweater, but I actually um, came to the greenhouse area to go into H. Audrey. Um, they, the owner has her own brand called Disco um, Cowgirl and they have the cutest little beanies right now, but they didn't have it. So I'm actually gonna look really quick on Instagram at a store that also carries it and see if they have it. And then if they do, I'm running by there. I may run by there. They have like good disco cowgirl stuff, but unfortunately they do not have the color that I was wanting, but we will still go by and see what it is. But you guys, okay, so there's a store called The Perfect Pair in Nashville, and I forgot my, like I have the kitsch mask and I forgot them, so I've been wearing my Adidas mask and ugh, it's, I hate, I can't stand it. Well, I don't, I don't hate it, I actually like it, but it's like blue, so it just doesn't go with everything, but I just got this black mask in there it's just like a little um i don't even know it's not like cloth i don't think i don't even know how to explain it but i do like it and then i'm gonna have to show y'all that for real like on my feet when we get inside but holy cuteness i got these black boots and i am obsessed so i also ordered my favorite booties are on sale currently on that and on nashville on Nordstrom um so I will actually link them below as well so I'll link both of these I just ordered a third pair of those and I might need to return them after just getting those because I'm getting a little too many shoes as of late so okay next we need to go to the mall and look at Christmas decorations I want to go in Crate and Barrel and look at their stockings um it's Grant and I's first married Christmas so we're really like kind of going all out getting our um stockings getting all of our christmas decor we just got a christmas tree so that is also part of this vlog is going to be decorating the house so i'm super excited i also doing a little haul of what i've gotten earlier first off look how cute this heading is let's try it on hopefully that girl does not come down here they were asking me about my hat in the store and i was telling her about it but that would also be weird if she like walked up on me doing a little try on haul in here okay well my hair is a little kooky right now but I got this headband it's so cute it's so thick and um let's try this way what do you think it's so hard to see in here yeah it's so cute it's like a thicker one I love headbands so if you don't like the headbands you probably won't like that but I think it's darling and then I got this Christmas candle and it's called Brooklyn Candle Studio. It's Cassis. Oh my god, did I get the right one? Because I don't think this is actually it. Oh my god, I got the wrong one. Oh my gosh. I thought I got a Christmas tree one. I could actually hurt myself. Could actually what in the nation? Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna have to go back. I thought I got the Christmas tree one and I didn't. Oh my gosh. All right, well we're gonna go back to there because I thought I got the Cypress one. It smells so good and I'm dumb dumb. 
All right, let's go back and return. Okay, you guys, I am cracking. It's, I am not dumb. I got the candle, and they said I'm the third person who has done that today. So the issue, okay, so this one's called Cypress. The other one's called, like, Karis, and they're all right next to each other, but the Cypress one is the one that's out. So they trick you. If they're doing a little trick, they're trying to get that other candle sold. But, yes, this one, it's the most like a Christmas tree. It's not focusing. Come on, camera. Like, come on. There we go. This is it. I love the black ambiance of it. Like, the black candle. It just makes it look so sleek, cheek. Love that. Because there was also a holiday one that I really loved. Um, but this one actually has a 70-hour burn time. So, I saw the other day, like, start actually looking at your burn times. Because, like, you're wasting so much money when you buy a candle that burns for, like, 40 hours. That one is 70. So... Pretty sure that's pretty good, but I'm so excited because it smells like a Christmas tree. So we have a fake Christmas tree, so that one will actually make our house smell like we have a real Christmas tree. Okay, now to crate and barrel. I cannot believe I'm so glad that like that might be like wow she's dumb, but like I'm glad I did that on camera so I could like or not camera, but I'm glad I like checked it because I've been so upset if I got home and I didn't even have the real thing. Wow. Okay. okay, so the only thing I actually got in the mall was this beanie. And I was contemplating between a way more expensive beanie and this one. And I ended up going with this one. And now I put it on my head and I'm like, maybe I should go with the more expensive one. But Crate and Barrel was a bust. I went even I went even into our house. Um, or, yeah, that's how you say it. It's like a furniture store. I really like their Instagram, but nothing's actually in their store. So, we are going to the motherland, Target. So... That is where I'm heading. I want to go through a Starbucks drive through so I'm trying to see, trying to think of like the way I need to go so I can get through a Target, I mean a Target, so I can go through a Starbucks. But it's about two now, I'm a little hungry, so I might get um, something else also at Starbucks. Okay, just got to Target, the motherland, and gonna go, I didn't find a Starbucks on the way here, so they have a Starbucks in this one, so I'm just gonna grab a coffee when I get in there, and then hopefully they have Christmas stuff left, because it's pretty packed, and they run out fast, so let's see if they have it. of Target basically I mean it's November 20th and basically now if you don't go get your Christmas decorations on November 1st I don't think there's anything left for anyone to get I mean Target was literally wiped out so I didn't even get ornaments we have to like order them or something and I'm so upset because we have a Christmas tree we need to decorate it okay just got back to the apartment just texted Grant to come up here and help me I'm like a little bit thinking I need to consolidate so that he's not like, where the heck did you go? Um, it's not looking good. Not looking like I'm gonna be able to consolidate. That's okay. He'll be fine. There's Kaylin. Hey. Hey, you bought the service elevator or you bought the main elevator? Um, service elevator, but I, it must be on five if you're on four. I was jamming to it. Really chopped it up well. Yeah, that was saving about 45 minutes. Yeah, really though. And perfectly chopped. We got this from our registry. Pretty good chopper. We also made some pan queso. You do one can of Rotel, one can of green chilies. We did chorizo, Monterey Jack cheese, and then Velveeta is the key. Um, it's supposed to be queso blanco, but I couldn't find it at our store, so we just got the normal one. And then you bake it at 300 degrees 
and then you take it out when it starts melting, put a little half and half, mix it all back, and then put it back in the oven. We did not do the half and half because Grant forgot, but we might do that later. The half and half. I mean the heavy cream, not half and half. We don't need that. We do need it. But now, Grant's weekend of gaining us 10 pounds, we're about to make, what are we making? Philly cheesesteaks at my wife's request. That's Listen, not my uh, request. Mine was wings, mm. the queso, and the Philly steaks was your idea. No, but I did not think the Philly, I showed you because I knew you would like it. Yeah, you did do that. Yeah, nice wife. So I didn't show y'all what we all got, or what I all got from Target, but honestly there was not much. So tomorrow I think I'm gonna go check out some more places because, or I'm gonna have to order them online because there was literally nothing there, like, like I've said. So I'll show you though what I got. So first I got these really big ornaments. They're literally the only ornaments I got and it was in a pack of three. So this is one and then I just put the other two in this bowl for now because it was so hard. You had to like tie this little string and it was just a lot. So I just gave up after the first one. Um, so this is the tree. We got it from Michael's. We wanted a nine foot tree. They only had seven and a half, so that is what we have. I got this Christmas little tree from Target. I, there was literally the last one, so I only got one. I wanted two. I got this candle today. That's the candle. It smells like Christmas trees. The ornaments that are actually gonna go in the uh, Christmas tree, and then I literally got these three <laughs> glittery trees. That was it for Christmas decorations. That was literally it, so. I wanted to do, and this was the only little one left, so I don't know really how I'm gonna switch it up over here, but literally, that's what we have. The Christmas stockings, they didn't even have our initials, so this is all we're working with for now. I'm gonna have to go for more. to think about that we're only going to be here till oh, we literally shit, only days. need yeah but it's disgusting i can't believe we didn't talk about that before we got married well i can't believe we didn't either because that is disgusting see it in the video you guys this red beautiful tree is like all the leaves are falling out of it but it's not even showing it can you see it at all i wish i looked cute because that would be a really great <laughs> Okay, wanted to do a little tour of our bedroom now that it's basically complete. Um, we just need some art on the wall, but I wanted to show y'all where we got everything. Okay, starting from the top, I guess, we got the mirrors from Target, um, both mirrors, and then we hung them. Lamps are from Target, which I was so excited because lamps are so expensive um we have been looking at all kinds of different lamps these were both 60 dollars each and i'll link them below and they're also fillable so you can like put stuff in here so i don't know what we're gonna fill it with yet but yeah so lamps are from target and then we got the um side tables from wayfair so they're both everything's the same on both sides and then the bed is actually rooms to go we got it a while back uh, these pillows are from Target. These are also from Target. And, like, they're, they're really big pillows. Like, basically everything's from Target. <laughs> um, and so we got these from, it's the Joanna Gaines section. That's where we got those. And then the ruffle um, pillows as well as the ruffle bedspread is Pottery Barn. The antelope pillows are from Etsy. I got them off of Etsy during the beginning of quarantine. I wanted to like freshen up our living room, um, but I put these in the bedroom for now. I will link the seller also. And then the uh, furry pillow is from Target last year, um, as well as this furry blanket as well. And then this Hermes dupe blanket was from Amazon. They've been pretty strict about like taking all of the designer dupes off. So I will also try to see if I can find this linked anywhere. 
Um, but yeah, that was from Amazon actually. And then same thing over here. Target is the lamp. Target is the mirror and then Wayfair is the side table. Okay, so it is hours later. I don't even think I said like good morning or anything, but it is Sunday. Um, this morning, Grant got up really early and did like all this, all the things before it was even like 10 a.m. And so I went with them to Target and then we went to the grocery store as well. Um, so that has really been our day. And then I got dressed and I just did some Instagram stuff. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go check it out. I share a lot of fashion content on Instagram, um, sales, especially with the holiday seasons. I've done gift guides on there. So definitely go and check it out. But I decided I would do also the little content maybe on here of the shoes that I bought this month. That's what I just did on Instagram. Um, so I'm just going to share them really quick and I will also link them down below here. If you don't um, want to go check it out on my Instagram, I'll do it here as well. Okay, so on my, sorry, Grant is watching a football game, but on Instagram I did like an actual try and haul these, but I'm just going to show you these. So I got these Dolce Vita mules this month. I think they are super cute and unique. Um, I love them also because of the back. If you see the little snake print, I think it's super cute. I also love that these are super transitional into spring, um, so you won't only be able to wear these into winter. Um, I say that you can order up maybe half a size. My I did my eight that I usually do, and my foot is like literally to the back of it, so that's just a warning but those are the first ones that are currently on sale second that's currently on sale are my mark fishers these are my third pair of these i have two other pairs i'm obsessed with them uh, these are also you can order up half a size um they're just a little bit harder to get on your foot but once they're on they're great i adore these these are super cheek and sleek looking um, and they just are super great booties they're currently on sale for 99 dollars right now so don't miss out they're really like 200 then I just got these black chunky suede boots yesterday when I was shopping. I showed you them. I think they're a part of the vlog. But I found them on Nordstrom and I linked them because they are on sale for $99 and I paid full price at that boutique. So that is so awesome. These are also a part of the shoes. And then last but not least are these Sam Edelman high knee boots. Um, looks like that. Um, these are super cute. They're actually like a few seasons ago. I'll show you the side. Um, but they are also on Amazon right now and they are currently on sale as well. They don't look that great here, but y'all, they're so cute on. So if you want to go see me in them, like go look at my Instagram because they are super cute. But yeah, that is the roundup of shoes this month um, that are all currently on sale. Don't miss out. I'm sure that they will sell out fast since they are going on sale with Black Friday and everyone holiday shopping. So definitely go check it out if you're interested in any shoes. And now I was going to like do all these try and hauls today to like get ahead for the week. But it's like the gloomiest weather in Nashville. So it's just like not what I'm wanting to do. So I'm trying to decide what I need to do. I was going to go get my nails done for Thanksgiving, but I think I'm just going to leave them like this because these are pretty Thanksgiving nails and then I can go Christmas after that. So I think I'm just going to wait. Um, we already went to the grocery store today. I think that's why I'm like so lost because it's Sunday. I'm like, oh, I need to go to the grocery store, but I actually don't. So I think I'm just going to change and chill with Grant for a little bit. You guys, good morning. It's a Monday morning. I'm about to <laughs> clock in for work. And I totally forgot to finish vlogging yesterday. We ended up going to a little date night to a sushi place in the Gulch. Um, and then we watched a movie and hit the hay. So I am sorry I have not finished off the vlog. But thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.